Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics problem and it reads uh, the sports car travels along a straight a road such that its acceleration is described by the graph. Construct the velocity position graph for the same interval and specify the velocity of the car uh, when the position is equal to 10 meters and when the position is equal to 15 meters. Solution. So I need black solution. All right. So we have the acceleration uh, position graph. Uh, what is the equation for this particular line from zero to ten meters? When you look at this line, this line is a linear line. It's a straight line means it's been governed by this function y is equal to mx plus c y in our case is the acceleration right and m is the gradient the change in y divided by the change in x and x is the displacement for us okay and then the intercept, this is zero for us, right? So it's excluded, not including it. So this is going to be equal to the change in the acceleration divided by the change in the position. Okay, times S. So my acceleration is going to be equal to a 10 divided by 10 times S. So this gives me S, okay? Therefore, from the interval zero, the interval zero meters to 10 meters, my acceleration is equal to S, okay? Yes. So this is equal to S, all right? Let's also find the equation from 10 to 15, this straight line here. What does our A equal to? It's just constant, see? It's not changing, it's what? 10 meters per second, I mean 10 meters, 10 meters per second squared, this is acceleration, okay? 10 meters per second, it's constant, okay? over this period from 10 meters to 15 meters so in the interval 10 meters to 15 meters my acceleration is going to be equal to 10 meters okay no 10 meters per second squared so the units here is 10 meters per second squared, 10 meters per second squared, okay? So we have been asked to draw the velocity position graph. We know that our instantaneous velocity is equal to uh, ds, change in position, divided by dt and acceleration instantaneous acceleration is equal to dv over dt and if we made dt subject of the formula and we equate the two equations okay so our dt our dt Uh, dt is equal to uh, dt is equal to ds over v and the other side our uh, dt is going to be equal to dv over a we equate the two we have ds over v is equal to dv over a 
okay so we need to find uh, the expression for uh, velocity right okay so what do you think we are supposed to do we need to integrate so let's rearrange this differential equation so then we're going to have a ds is equal to b dv right so so this is the differential equation that we're going to use but let's check the limits we know that at s is equal to zero at s is equal to zero all right at s is equal to zero uh, what will be the value we know the value of acceleration is equal to zero as well right so we also know that our velocity is supposed to be equal to our v naught is going to be equal to what zero okay so at s is equal to zero acceleration is equal to zero and we know that the acceleration from this formula here is equal to uh, dv is equal to v dv over ds. So what do you think is going to be velocity when acceleration is equal to zero? Of course, velocity will be equal to zero, right? So our velocity also is going to be equal to v naught. Of course, is going to be equal to zero. Why do we need this information? We need this information to be able to so that we have our integrate integrating uh, constants, right? So therefore, our a for the interval can I rub on top since we have these equations? Okay. Can I use this space here? Okay. We know that our a is going to be equal to our a ds is equal to v dv. We are in the interval s from 0 to 10. We integrate this. All right. What is our a in this interval? Our a is equal to s. Therefore, this is from this is s ds is equal to v v dv okay um this we'll just replace this because we know that a is equal to s so you place well we have a we'll place it with s okay and our constants of integration for this is going to be from zero to s and the velocity is also going to be from zero because you know v naught is zero to v. So if we integrate this, we're going to have s squared divided by two is equal to v squared divided by two. All right, and therefore my v is going to be equal to s so we found one um, function which velocity is a function of a position so we are saying our uh, v is going to be equal to s in this interval okay so let's find v in the next interval that is from 10 to 15 okay so we integrate what is our a in this interval we said our a is what is 10 this equation 10 ds which is equal to uh, v dv okay and uh, what about the integration constant? Because we are starting from here, okay? So let's find our V node at this point. At, at S is equal to 
10 meters. What will be our V? Our V of 10 will be equal to 10 meters per second. Right? Okay, therefore, at S equal to 10, our V naught at this point will be equal to 10 meters per second. So, I rub this right, can I? Of course, I can do so. So, integrating this, this is going to be from 10 to S, 10 ds is equal to uh, 10 to V, that's V dV. So, what do we get? If we are to integrate this, this is going to be equal to 10 S, 10 S. 10 to s is equal to v squared over 2. Okay, so we'll have 10s there minus um, 100. Right, this is going to be equal to a v2 over v, v squared over 2 minus 100 over 2, which is a 50. Okay, then 10 s minus 100 plus 15 is equal to V2 over 2. So this we get um, 10 s minus 50 is equal to V this over 2. Okay, and therefore this our v is going to be equal to square root of 100 s right 100 s minus 100 right i think so that's all that's two two by no this is 20 right two by 2 by 10, that's a 20s, minus 5 by 50 is a 100, something like this. So this is the equation that we find in this interval. Alright. Okay, so with this information, we are now ready to plot. We are now good to plot. So it is something like that. Okay. Something like so. So we have here velocity which is in meters per second and we have position there which is in meters. So let's begin the work. So we have velocity okay which is just a linear function so it will be something like this linear all right. Let me shorten it a little bit as I need some space. I want this to still go up. Okay. Uh, 
something like that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Something like that. So this is this is this is 10 meters and then this point is also 10 meters this is velocity meters per second all right and then from interval 10 to 15 interval 10 to 15 we have this uh, this root function okay the root function so this one is going to go like so it will go like so from here it will go something like this it will go something like this okay we can test this function maybe here we test it what is v we are supposed to find at this point here we have 10 meters we are supposed to find um we are supposed to find velocity of 10 on this equation it has to match because look at this we, we had picked the boundary so the maximum of this where it starts v v of 10 for this one v of 10 is equal to 10 and then for this one also v of 10 at this point here should give us the same 10 it's going to be equal to 20 by 10 minus 100 what does it give us is equal to 10 right so the equation is fine so let's find this point here so we found this point here this is going to be 10 what about this point here this point here we can calculate it let's find it this point here is going to be equal to is that one there right okay let's calculate that value so v of 15 is going to be equal to 20 by 15 minus 100 and v of 15 is equal to so 20 by 15 minus 100 root of that is equal to 1 one four one four meters per second so this one is one four one four it's one four one four meters per second all right so we found and then this one here this one here is already known you see 10 meters per second 10 meters per second okay i guess i'm done thank you for listening bye bye and see you in my next screencast